to have a pint of Guinness because it's St. Patrick's Day. So we're heading off down the pub in the rat. Happy and Paddy Day. Oh, that's a little bit of good. Yummy. <laughs> I've forgotten how shit it tastes. So when I was in my 20s, I worked on the roads a lot of time with the Irish boys and we consumed lots of this. And then playing music, we always play gigs on Paddy's Day, so this is why I'm here. Happy Paddy's Day, all you Irish dudes. Monday. I literally haven't thought about this car all weekend. So I've come out here now to see exactly what I've got to do. You see my hoses have arrived, which is good, but that's an easy job. Something I really do want to do, looking at it straight away, and I've been meaning to do this for a while, is these engine mounts. They sort of look like a bit of box section coming through, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of holes in them. I'm not going to go mad on the holes on this car, but I think a couple of holes on there, just to slim it down a bit. What I do is jack the engine up in place, take one off at a time and, and do them, and then I can fit them for good. Also, I think while I'm down there, I think I need to cut these off and also trim these up and get these ready to be welded. Right, so that's what I think I'm going to start on. I think what I'm going to do is whip these out first, drill the holes, Take these off. You can tell at this point, 50 grinding discs have just arrived. Nice start to Monday morning. 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 Oh my God, I've made it out of four mil. Thanks, mate. Hey down, my old I was thinking something like that. So it'll take a lot of the meat away. It's a big chunk. It's it's because it's so slab sided. See that's got a bit of a well, hey on it, so I'm gonna just trim him down. <laughs> Yes, sounds out at last. Right, just trim these up, make them look a little bit nice. Okay, that looks a bit better, doesn't it? It just sort of lions it up a bit and the same this side i got a bit of a scary piece of something going through there but i don't know what else i can do with it that's part of the original mount there's no real way of cutting it out which is a shame man. right i think it's time to cut these fellas off because they've been on there long enough and then i'm going to cut these fellas down i will be continuing on with the other bits and pieces but it was a nice day today so i thought i'd take advantage 
of the fact that I can be out here uncovered. <laughs> Right, these are the top bits of the, the shock mounts for the front and that is as far as I got. They got just like a little lip that goes over the top of the chassis like that. But I want to trim them up. So there they are. I've trimmed them right down so they're really slim and I think by the time they go rusty they'll disappear a bit more. I don't think those shocks are going to pull through those three 10 mil bolts. That's a room. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, please. Which one? Mmm. Crabby <laughs> I like it when the sass is home. Right. My plan for the alternator, I think you've got two here and one there. So if I make a bracket off of there and then hang it off of here and then just run through there. I'm I think I've got a Lucas one knocking around, so I might just go with that idea because you can buy them for 70 quid. The smaller the better. If it starts really hanging out here, I'm going to have to go with the with the smaller one. So to put the alternator on, I need to find the water pump pulley. I found this piece of it, and I have got no clue where the other bit is in there somewhere. I know I've got it, it's just a case of where. So I've just gone on a bit of a hunt in the back of Mary Jane and I believe that's the pulley I need. The holes line up, but oddly enough they line up for Mary Jane's pulley as well, but also I found two Lucas alternators. I'm going to use one of these, I think this one, and then just buy a new one. I'll try this first, but I think I'll just buy a new one. That's the fella. Right, so I don't need any of that nonsense in the front there. I don't know what this bit's for, but this was also on there, so it probably had a, an additional pulley for power steering or something. I'm finding a lot of stuff on this engine is imperial. I can only assume it's because essentially it was in a British car, and the Indians were making that car for years, and they probably brought, they probably brought parts over from the B-series engine and used them on it. Right, okay, I'm offering this up, and essentially it's going to have to go in there. So if I make a plate up here and then come off of that plate and then join into that, that's where we gotta go. Right, this is kind of what I'm thinking. The bracket needs to go here, so I'm gonna have to make something that comes up and then goes to there. But for the minute, I'm gonna cut this out. Okay, so I'm gonna use a bit of this six mil and then I can throw loads of weld into it and it's not gonna move around. Not that it would anyway in four mil, but it's the right size. <laughs> tube that fits nicely over that bolt so I'm gonna whop that off there. It's no good does it? <laughs> There's two on there that's why. Then uh, put your glasses on. So now I'm gonna make a piece that comes off of here and joins the other bit. I'm gonna continue using this six mil because I think this needs to be strung and I can't find anything else anyways.
first bit welded out. Now, all I need to do is tack that onto there. Make it square. First fit didn't work, so we'll try the next one. Where's we bleeding headphones? They were round my neck. <laughs> squared it up if you can see I don't know if you can see that but I squared it up with this flat on the engine so it should be all right that way if you look down this way it's square that way hopefully but I'm gonna just try it now I haven't tried this yet and we'll see if it lines up you eye down that looks bang on <laughs> Okay, so what I did was drill these out and I put 10 mil into a thread there and what I do is lock tie them when it comes to it. My smallest distance is going to be about there. So do it. Right, okay, so now I need to fit this bit so this will adjust. It's only going to have to move a little bit like that just to pinch up. You would look over here and think where am I going to take it but where I'm going to take it from is the chassis. This engine's solid mounted. Now you know why I do it. There you go, just like that. I'll wear that one tomorrow. Okay, massive thanks to Sean Booth and Kevin Cassidy for going over to the tip jar. Cheers, boys, it really is appreciated. And there was a couple of comments last week, a bit worried where our man Rangy Man has gone. Well, he's back. Rangy Man! Nice bit of driftwood I found down the beach. Looks like a trance off a boat, but it's hardwood. Oh, look at that. I'll let that dry, see what it is. Hello. Right back out here this morning. I'm going to weld that onto there. And then I think I'm going to weld these on. And I'm going to weld these, these brackets on here as well. And then I think I'm going to run the fuel lines. Run some wires front to back. I've got a fuel pressure regulator. It's got to go in. And I've got a fuel pump to go in. Oh, sun's out. That sun's baking. Yeah, man. Taking everything out, and what I'm going to do now is run the fuel lines through. I'm going to bring them up this side on the inside of the chassis, I think. I haven't got any clips at the moment, but I'm going to have a look around and see what I can find. I also want to run a return on this car because when I was starting at this pipe here, I don't know what it's for, but it's direct feed from there. It was just flowing all the time, so I'm assuming that's got to go to some sort of return. So. I'm going to put a return on him, just in case. I'm pleased with that all one eight though, that's sitting there just right. Having a bit of a look round, I just found this roll, and it's a quarter. I don't know if it's going to be wide enough, but I've also got some original stuff, which looks to be a quarter as well. Is a quarter going to be enough? I really do a three eight for the thought. Hmm. Well, I'm going to go and see what else i got. Again, that looks bigger. It's running loose. There's no clips on it at all. So I'm gonna whip him out, I think, and have that one as well. I like this chassis. After going in your man's 12 horsepower the other day, I'm really looking forward to doing this one. You see, it's got the underslung chassis at the back. It's got anti-roll bars, but the chassis is in pretty poor condition. Typical Rover chassis, <laughs> rusty. <laughs> Yeah, that was 
was a nightmare. But it's a nice long piece. Thanks, Rover. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna run him up this outside and then I'm gonna run him down next to this wood so it's below the floor and I can fix to that wood. I'll drill a hole in there to take it and then it can return up here and then I'm gonna put this this fuel filter regulator. It's gonna go in here. So I need to cut this one off about here somewhere. Fuel pump is in down there and the pipe's in but I need clips. I'm getting a lot of that. I'm sort of finding stuff and ordering it and just waiting for it. But I'm keeping plowing on and we're getting very close. From a great Atlantic ocean to the wild Pacific shore. From the green of foreign mountains to the south field by the shore. She's mighty tall and handsome and no quad wall by all. She's a combination of the Wabash Cannonball. Well, I reached and saved the dandies, so the people always say, New York to St. Louis, Chicago by the way. From the hills of Minnesota, where the river waters fall, the changes can be taken on the Wabash Cannonball. Now, these were the original shock mounts. Now, because it's quite a big funky piece, what I'm considering is to use this to mount my side lights, like that. What I'm gonna do is cut this front face off, then it just needs a piece welding on with a hole drill for it, and the wires go straight through, and it looked look quite cool like that, I think. So I just need to cut a piece out the same as that. The only problem is, is doing the bolt up. Oh uh, yeah. Right, I'm cleaning up these. I'm having to get the die grinder out because it's a bit mucky in there. I'm going to weld round up these sides and down the bottom there. Well, listen to the jingle, the rumble and the roar. This flies along the woodland to the south field by the shore. And a mighty rush of the engine and the lonesome hobo call. Traveling through the jungle on a Wabash cannonball. Good, that's that all welded up. That means I can put this back together again now. I'm just going to put a big tack on that as well. Then I can try and see what it does. Right out to there. Solid as a rock. I've got to weld up these shock mounts because they're just sat in there at the moment just under interference fit so I'm going to weld both of them up. Thursday. This is going to have a little cover over but you can access it from the, the battery panel anyway to be honest. So I've got to stop for the minute on that because I need some clips so I've ordered those. So I'm thinking now I'm going to start running some wires about and I was having a look at it a minute ago and I was thinking about where to put the fuse box and as we got such an expanse of space here there's not actually that much wiring but it'd be nice to be able to access the fuses easy. Again I haven't got a fuse box just getting all the wires to the place will be enough for the minute. I'm going to see if I can run the battery cable as well now. There might be a bit on the comma so I'm going to probably go and rob that bit of battery cable. I might put a switch down there. That's what I was considering, is go from the battery to here. Put one of those red switches in, kill switch. Well, two little parcels here, I've got no idea what they are, but they're going to be interesting. Oh, hello. Is it new? Oh. Yay. How the hell did I get that so wrong? Well, that's annoying. It's never near long enough. Okay, so I've gone through my cables and everything I've got is free core. I thought I had some trailer cable here somewhere, but I've got this funky looking four core where I'm thinking about using. As long as I hide it in the chassis, you're never gonna see this bright orange. So we can have at the back, we can have the brake lights, the side lights, and the two indicators. I'm gonna use all the bodywork for earthing. And then at the front, we got high beam, low beam, side lights. 
run two at the front, run one for the indicators. Oh yeah, it's 2.5 I think. Mm, I think it's big enough. And what you got is black, black, black and black. Are these numbered? So I got a parcel from my pal up in Scotland, Mr. Steve Pickering, and he sent me down some lead solder sticks and some copper rivets ready for me to solder up this tank. Steve is also building a special on Morris, and uh, he's coming to the end, so he's at quite an exciting part on his. But he's been giving me a bit of instruction over the phone and that on how to actually solve this. So next week, I'm gonna be cracking into this as soon as possible. Fair play, Steve. Cheers, dude. So I'm just gonna make a, it's got a galvanized bracket on the moment. I'm just gonna make a little alley one. Set it up against the bulkhead. Massive thanks to everyone who bought a t-shirt last week. Cheers, lads. Thanks for the support. do is position this. This is the fuel inlet coming here. I want to position this so it's pretty straight, so it's somewhere about there. That look about right. Pipe coming straight across, straight from here to there. Good, 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 good. Okay, for this coil, I was considering putting it inside, but because of the length of the leads and what have you, I'm going to put him here, I think. I hate bolting things on, I'd like to hide it all really, but for the sake of the reliability, I can get out of all of this. I can get to adjust that. I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so I've got this Kenley. My mate Chris give me. Cheers, mate. I've had it a while, I was going to fit it to the hook. It's about the right size to go in here, so I'm going to think about fitting that in a minute. I haven't tried this fan out yet, but I'm sure it's going to work. Right, so I've got to squeeze that to just there. we got these side bits here. Aren't very thick, but... I think if I run something down, bolt that on first, a bit of free mill or something, and then bring the bracket up and out, bolting onto these two pieces. Yeah. Here's the daddy clacker on me, his name forever stand. And he always be remembered in the cause of Alabama. When the earthly race is over. I did want to jigsaw this out, but I couldn't find my jigsaw blades and I haven't got time to look for them, so... Right, well there's the first one. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to drill two additional holes in here as far up as I can and then that will stop it from twisting. Come back here, bend this round. Hopefully that's going to be enough. But I'll start bolting it up and see what it does. I'll cut another one of these first. <laughs> So to give this 
the support it needs I'm going to drill some more holes in here and that should stop it from it having any flex but I see I might have to put another little support off the top yet but well I've got seven nice bucks I got seven nice four I got seven nice I got to show my face with a different little woman and at the front place seven nice bucks I got seven nice four Monday I get the practice And that's about it. Now it's just a case of bolting this on through the sides. And then in there, that doesn't look too bad. Also, with this fan, I've got the control switch. You put that in there, and this gives you your temperature, then. so it's just coming automatically. So I think I'm going to use this. I'm hoping it'll work. So what I'm going to do is drill four holes in there, and then slim it up. But if you want to see me do any of that, I'm afraid you're going to have to tune in next time. And next time, I will be starting Susie, and I will be taking the leaf for a ride up the road. Also next week, I'm going to be doing a few little jobs on the rat, ready for Wheels Day the following weekend. So, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the old subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like and a comment. You know it's always appreciated. If you want to help me out and support the channel, please go over to the tip jar, or better still, get yourself one of these lovely Oak Swamp t-shirts. Anyway, massive thanks to Jim Hammond and 16 String Jack for the cool tunes. And thank you for watching. I'll catch you dudes next time. English. I got seven nights to rock. I got seven nights to roll. I got seven nights to get a show on the face. With a different woman in a different place. Seven nights to rock.